Hi everybody, this is Dr. Stu Weiss. I'm an emergency room physician here in New York. And um, we're here to answer questions that get sent to us every day to give you science-based practical advice for COVID-19. So um, today's question actually comes from a friend of mine in Boston. Um, he runs a company, he said to me, Stu, what do I do with the mail and these packages that come? What is safe to do? So thanks very much for sending that over, Chris. Um, it's, you're not the first person to ask me that question. And hello up to Boston. Um, so, you know, the, here's the answer. The answer is there was a study, here we go, that came out in the New England Medical Journal um, just a couple of days ago where they took a look at survival of um, coronavirus on various surfaces. And one of the key findings was that there was no viable coronavirus on cardboard after 24 hours. So, so 24 hours is the key for cardboard. There were lots of differences between different substances, like plastic was different and metal. Plastic and metal were much longer. Um, but cardboard and, and paper um, are 24 hours. So if what happens in my house is every day, more or less, every day, we get a friendly box of Amazon stuff because like everybody in the whole world here, it seems that, you know, because all the stores here in New York are closed, we order stuff from Amazon every single day. So the Amazon guy comes running up and I live in a building. So the Amazon guy delivers to my doorman, but my sisters who live in houses, the Amazon guy comes running up, puts the package down, rings the doorbell and then runs away which is what you want him to do because um, you don't want him in your house and you don't want him, you know, he leaves the packages for me down in, in the, the lobby. So um, you get these packages and you get the bunch of mail that comes in your mailbox. What should you be doing with them? Well, based on that study, this should be sitting for 24 hours. So we actually have a bin in our house um, where we put the mail for 24 hours and then we have a place under the table in the front where we put the boxes for 24 hours. We just let them sit for 24 hours. Um, after you touch one of these boxes, obviously when you get it, you need to then wash your hands because you have to assume the box is contaminated and then you need to go wash your hands before you do anything else. So we put the box and the mail in the storage place to wait for 24 hours and then we um, wash our hands. So this box came yesterday and uh, let's see what we actually got today. I don't have any idea what this is. And it looks like, let's see. We got yet another case of tuna fish. Yay. I don't know about you, but we have been, I think they call it pantry loading now. We have been preparing by ordering food pretty much every day. There's some foods that I don't even know why we have them. We don't eat red beans in sauce or canned roast beef with gravy, but we have it in our pantry. So um, getting back to the topic, make sure that you um, let the mail and let boxes sit for 24 hours before you touch them, before you open them, um, because you need to assume that whatever is the outside of the box could be covered with coronavirus. Great question. If you have a question that you want answered with science-based practical tips, please go to our website. It's www.drstu.org, www.doctorstu.org. Also, subscribe to our channel so you get these videos every day. We'll be putting out a new question. We'll be answering a question every single day. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow.